Hey nerds, it's Anna. I have uh, two mushrooms that I want to share with you today. Uh, first of all, I have a lovely collection of wood ears. The uh, Latin name for this, uh, at least at this point in time, the best thing that I can do is call this Auricularia Americana in the broad sense. You would see this also listed as uh, Auricularia Auricula or Auricularia Auricula hyphen Judiae in a lot of uh, older field guides and many, many websites. Uh, anyway, it is a common uh, edible fungus it is pretty, um, you know, good. Uh, delicious is probably the wrong word. It doesn't have a lot of independent flavor, but it has a really wonderful uh, chewy texture. And then also um, the sort of mushroom I want to highlight side by side with it is uh, called Exidia rexisa. The common name uh, for this is the amber jelly roll fungus. And so um, both of these are edible. I don't eat the jelly rolls. Some people like to do kinds of fun things with them, uh, but I can't really speak to, uh, you know, their, um, I guess, culinary quality so much. But I do want to give you some hints as to sort of how to distinguish between the two of them, because they're both very common. They both have kind of a brownish color, and they're wood decomposers that uh, grow during cooler weather. So um, let's start with our wood ears. Um, they're very wiggly and jiggly, as you can tell. Uh, they do have a good bit of rubberiness to them, like they don't fall apart. There's some uh, jelly fungi that really like you touch them and they just smush. Uh, wood ears do not do that. Also when you dry them up they kind of turn into this leathery uh, sort of dark brown. Um, you know it, it's it's rather hard actually. You can buy them um, in uh, Asian markets for instance or in a lot of other places. And so like if you've ever had um, a hot and sour soup and you have these uh, sort of like chewy uh, strings of mushroom in uh, the soup that is very often uh, wood ear or mu er is uh, what it's called in uh, Chinese uh, cuisine, I do believe. Uh, and then uh, we have our amber jelly roll fungus. So both of these do grow on wood, but the jelly roll fungus you can see is much smaller, even, you know, than the smallest versions of these, uh, you know, these wood ears. And the wood ear, you know, they have these sort of, um, well, obviously it, it looks very much like an ear, but you have these little convolutions and so forth. Uh, you know, the um, uh, amber jelly roll fungus similarly has a lot of ridges, but it's not nearly as uh, sort of contorted. And so it doesn't look like, uh, you know, there's so much um, sort of uh, undulation happening around the connection point between the mushroom and what it was growing on. Um, additionally, you know, you do have ridges, but you have um, very frequently like a little concave depression. Uh, these are relatively uh, young, you know, specimens, but there's a few of them here. Oh, this is actually right here is a pretty good example. So you have just sort of a section that is, uh, you know, a concave depression and then this sort of uh, ridge around it. Um, it similarly, you know, does smush, but it's not uh, like, you know, you have a lot of um, uh, jelly fungi or uh, slime molds, for instance, that really you can't put any pressure on them at all. Um, so, you know, again, Exidia rexisa, very common in cooler weather. You'll oftentimes see them growing like side by side and on top of one another. And it's just a, you know, I think an interesting distinction between two of our um, cooler weather species. And uh, observing them side by side, I can see how they are considered lookalikes. But once you get to know them, as with many mushrooms that are considered lookalikes, they become very, very distinct once you actually get to, um, you know, do a meet and greet with the two of them together.